I would like to point out that the IGF USA is not the only one of these national initiatives. This is actually quite amazing. The uh, Tunis agenda did not talk about uh, national and regional IGF uh, type meetings. It only talked about one uh, global IGF, but in the past few years, they have begun spreading like mushroom, one is tempted to say. Uh, they're all over the world. In Africa, there are three regional IGFs, and some of them are underpinned by national IGFs. In East Africa, West Africa, Central Africa, there's an IGF-type initiative in Latin America and the Caribbean. Uh, there's one for the Caribbean only. Uh, there has been an Asia-Pacific IGF in Hong Kong for the first time this year. Europe has a very strong uh, European IGF. They call it European Dialogue on Internet Governance that is also underpinned by various national initiatives, UK, Spain, Italy, Germany. This year, for the first time, also saw an IGF, a multi-stakeholder initiative in uh, Russia. Uh, and, uh, well, it, I think too many now to uh, mention them all, but uh, it just basically is proof that in many countries uh, people feel the need of uh, discussing these issues in a multi-stakeholder settings as they realize that uh, one stakeholder group cannot do it alone. Uh, governments cannot do it alone, but the techies cannot do it alone either. They need guidance from governments, policy guidance, what are the issues they're concerned about, what are the issues that need addressing. And we also, I think, obviously need the contribution of the private sector as the internet is private sector led. And we need the contribution and the input from civil society as they are quite often uh, the watchdogs on some of very sensitive issues, human rights, privacy, to name but a few. Uh, the Tunis agenda, it does refer to the importance of uh, policy coordination at national and regional level, uh, without, however, uh, going as far as recommending that these uh, initiatives take place. Uh, so this is, a, I think, a very uh, good example of a, a spontaneous bottom-up uh, type of initiatives, very adapted to the very nature of the internet itself. Uh, Obviously, uh, global coordination cannot work if there's no coordination at the national level. And what we have seen in the past is quite often that uh, one government agency goes into one meeting and says one thing, and another government agency goes into another forum, into another uh, international organization, says another thing. And bringing everybody together, not only uh, also from within the government uh, helps uh, to contribute to uh, policy coherence. And this is particularly uh, true in uh, developing countries where quite often uh, the internet has developed very much outside the sphere of governments, whereas the governments were the classical traditional regulators in a very close contact with the uh, incumbent uh, telecoms and they uh, quite often saw the internet as an upstart, as a competition uh, that siphons off money from the traditional uh, incumbents. And therefore, it is particularly important that these initiatives uh, happen uh, also in uh, developing countries, that developing countries recognize the importance of engaging in this kind of multi-stakeholder dialogue as one a uh, very senior official, I think it was in, it was in Kenya, said, uh, well, it's sometimes quite painful to engage into these discussions with uh, civil society, with groups, but however, it is helpful. It helps us make the better decisions. Before we never did that, we took the decisions ourselves without consulting the outside world, and now we have learned that this actually helps us improve uh, our way of uh, running uh, the, the country all the organizers of these regional IGFs can discuss together on how to improve the linkages uh, among themselves and also with the global IGF. Uh, but I think one important remark is that they are not PrepCom type of meetings. They are not, uh, yes, they will feed into the global IGF, but many have come to the conclusion that they have a value in themselves irrespective of the annual meeting of the global IGF. 
and uh, it was in East Africa where one of the organizers said, irrespective of what happens to the IGF, we will continue holding these meetings because we see value in these meetings, we see value in this multi-stakeholder dialogue. We need to continue this kind of dialogue to develop our policies to get uh, our uh, house in order. As someone said, I think it was in the Russian IGF, good internet governance begins at home, I think, and this is a very much uh, the example that uh, underpins uh, this thesis.